The first ever Westwood Cup event was run by the Royal Yacht Squadron last week and featured four stunning classic yachts. Among them was the stunning Eleonora, which is an exact replica of the famous schooner Westwood. Built in Holland, she was launched 90 years to the day of Westwood's launch, on 31st of March 2000, and she's been a regular and successful competitor on the classic yacht circuit ever since. The event, to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the launch of Westwood, was the idea of Eleonora's owner, and was brought to fruition by the Royal Yacht Squadron, together with the New York Yacht Club and the Yacht Club de Monaco. Four gorgeous classic yachts raced in this inaugural event, Eleonora, Mariette, Marakita, and Twiga. The courses followed those raced by the big class in the Solent 90 years ago, and for a glorious week in July, a real sense of the style of racing in the 20s and 30s returned to Solent waters. It was fantastic to see these wonderful yachts racing again off cows, but sadly, the power and beauty of Eleonora was diminished before the first race, when the huge yacht lost both her topmasts while training before the regatta. So it was a truncated Eleonora which came to the line for the first race on a day when the light winds would punish her lack of topsails. The first race got underway on Tuesday after a half hour postponement, with the four boat fleet showing they weren't going to be line shy. The smallest yacht in the fleet is the 92-foot Twiga, helmed today by the Secretary General of the Yacht Club de Monaco, Mr Bernard D'Alessendri. Twiga wasn't intimidated by being the smallest and she led the fleet around the first mark of East Leap and then set off for the second mark, North Sturbridge, in the eastern Solent. The light wind became even lighter and more fluky in the central Solent as the fleet spread from the island to the mainland shore as navigators searched for wind. Marikita had a close encounter with a container ship and a car carrier, then got slapped by a large wake that tried to board her. The wind did pick up though, and it was Marikita which took line on us by just six seconds from her small arrival. But on corrected time, the wind was Twiga's, followed by the 138 foot Mariette. The 125 foot Marikita was third followed by the beautiful but damaged 160-foot Eleonora. Twiga was built in 1909 for the Spanish Duke and Medina Celli and was the first 15-metre to be restored at Fairley Restorations. She's been owned by the Yacht Club de Monaco since 1993. Her sister, the Lady Anne, was restored in 1999, and her old rival, Hispania, will join them soon. In Wednesday's race, it was the powerful Herreshoff design schooner Mariette which took line honours in just over four hours and one on corrected time. Twiga was second on handicap with Marikita third and finally Eleonora which finished second on the water and just 23 seconds on handicap behind Marikita. Built in 1915, Mariette was built for an American wool merchant who raced and cruised her around Boston from 1916 to 1927.
She was brought over to Europe in 1975 and underwent various major refits until she eventually had her glorious gaff rig restored. Mariette races regularly in the Mediterranean, Caribbean and European classic events. After a lay day on Thursday, racing resumed on Friday after an hour's postponement to wait for the wind to fill in. Again, the shoreside spectators were treated to the sight of four huge classic yachts competing for the best start on the squadron line. The race committee set a good course of 32 miles, taking the yachts west to West Leap before bringing them back past Cowes to South Bramble and Prince Consort, just off the harbour. Then they went west again and back past cows twice more before the finish. The gorgeous Marikita again took line honours, but her smaller rival Twiga was snapping at her heels and saved her time to take the handicap win, with Marikita taking second. Mariette took third with Eleonora in fourth. Marikita, whose name is Spanish for Ladybird, is the sole survivor of the 19 metre class, whose racing career flourished for two brief seasons before the First World War. Designed and built by William Fife in 1911, Marikita was popular with spectators of big class racing from Kiel to the Clyde. After the war, Marikita went cruising and eventually became a houseboat at Pin Mill in Suffolk. She was rediscovered in 1991 and restored on the Hamble by Fairley Restorations in 2004. The final day of racing on Saturday saw even more spectators on shore and on the water as Mariette made a thrilling sight as she roared towards the inshore end of the line off the Royal Yacht Squadron. All the skippers were out to put on a show with all four yachts crossing the line within 15 seconds of the gun. Saturday's course sent the fleet on a series of lakes to the west until they reached Bridgeboy off the Needles before returning to Cowes. The conditions were perfect as the giant classics beat west down the Solent, with Twiga and Marikita battling for the lead. Twiga ended the series in style by leading the fleet home in just under four and a half hours, only two minutes ahead of Marikita and five ahead of Mariette. On handicap, the win was Twiga's, with Mariette second, Marikita third, and Eleonora fourth. Overall, the series belonged to Twiga, with Mariette taking a well-earned second ahead of Marikita and Eleonora. It was superb to see these wonderful classics enjoying perfect Solent conditions and providing an unforgettable spectacle for the appreciative spectators. The Westwood Cup must have a bright future and we're all looking forward to welcoming even more of these incredible yachts to cows, probably in two years' time. <laughs> <laughs>